Hey guys, B1 Studios here, and today we are going to go through a little thing that I found in After Effects, and that is actually creating a metallic texture using only plugins and effects built into After Effects. So we're not going to be using any external images and sort of combining them with layers or anything like that. We're only going to use effects that are built into After Effects to create a sort of metal texture. Now, the place that I got this idea from was actually when I was doing my fifth Indian TV logo animation, I actually sought to create sort of a ninja star kind of thing, and so I was playing around with some of the effects in After Effects to try and get a sort of metallic texture so I ended up with a pretty good result or at least I think it's pretty good and so I decided to share it with you guys so just in case you haven't seen the fifth Indian TV logo animation by me here it is Okay, so now that we have sort of an idea of what we're trying to recreate, let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and open After Effects, and we are going to make a new composition, and all you have to do to do that is either Command-N on a Mac or Control-N on PC. And Command-N will bring up the composition settings, and these look okay. And let's just rename this metal so that we know what we're working with. And now we are going to scale it so that you can see the whole thing. Okay, so for my first demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate how to create this metallic texture using a shape layer. So I'm just going to make a solid layer right now by Command Y or Control Y on Windows. and I usually put a black solid underneath all of my other layers whenever I'm working in After Effects. And this is just because I like the sort of reassurance, I guess, of having always a black background. And also you can apply effects to that background since it's actually another solid layer. But in this tutorial, we're actually not going to be applying any effects to the background. So if you want to not make a solid layer, it's perfectly fine. It's not going to affect the way your stuff turns out. To create a new shape layer, all you have to do is go up to Layer, New, and Shape Layer is right there. There's no keyboard shortcut for it, but it's all right. So we're going to make a rectangle just for the purposes of this tutorial. And make sure that the fill of your shape is white. So double click on the fill and uh, you can select what color it's gonna be, but for right now, we want it to be white. And click OK. And now we're going to actually duplicate this. So Command D for duplicate. And now you can see we have two shape layers. All right, so now we're gonna start applying the effects. So in effects and presets, we're gonna search for tint. And there it is. So we're just gonna drag it onto shape layer two, the one on the top. And now we're going to map white to black. So we're gonna drag that all the way down to black, just like that. Hit okay. And now the next thing we want to do is search in effects for CC light sweep. And there it is. So we're going to just take that and drag it right down there. And you can already start to see that there's sort of a little beam of kind of light. And if we just increase the width of the light sweep, you will start to see that we can get sort of a texture from it and now up the intensity now you'll really start to see it and you can also adjust the direction by turning the little angle knob there and putting it into whatever 
angle that you want the little beam of light to go. So it's pretty customizable and you can just play around with it a little bit and go through all the settings and keep tweaking them until you find a setting that maybe that you like. So now that I'm satisfied with this, we are going to go on and make it look a little bit more realistic. So what I'm going to do now is go into layer new and we're going to make an adjustment layer. All right, so now we have our adjustment layer and in effects, we're typing curves. And here we're going to drag the curves onto the adjustment layer and now we can make color correction changes, sort of. So, what I did for the Indian TV logo was I actually had a curve that looked like that. So if you can see, it kind of goes up, flat lines, goes back down in a parabolic fashion. So we're going to try and recreate that by taking these windows and going side by side. And now we're just going to try and recreate that curve. So just dragging it up and moving the curve down a little bit. Oop. And it looks about right. Maybe extend the flat line just a little bit. All right, gotta Ooh. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit more now. We got a little blip on the top, but that should be okay. I'm gonna try and smooth this curve out and sort of get it to look a bit more even. All right, so now you can see that it's definitely starting to have that sort of a metal texture to it. And once I'm satisfied with how my curve looks, and you can go back and, you know, tweak it and see what settings for the curve are nice. And now what I'm gonna do is actually go and add another adjustment layer. And we're going to go to effects and type glow. And here it is under stylize. We can drag that into the adjustment layer. And okay, that's way too bright. So we gotta up the threshold and you're only gonna want anywhere from 90% to even like 85% is starting to look a little bit red, but maybe we want something like that. Now you can see it does look sort of a little bit more realistic, kind of like a piece of metal. And you'll notice that we did not have to use any pictures or any blending modes or anything to create this metal texture. All we did was take a shape layer and make it metallic using only the effects in After Effects. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is not only can you do this in shape layers, but you can do it for text too. So I'm gonna make a new composition and metal text is just gonna be the name. And now we're just gonna go ahead and make some text. And we're gonna type, uh, I don't know, metal, I guess. And uh, we're gonna drag it into the middle and so we can see the whole thing. And basically, since I've already made all the effects, all I have to do is copy and paste them over. So, duplicate this text layer. So, Command D or Control D. Now we have two layers and we're gonna go ahead and since we've already done all the work, we can just copy and paste them. If you hold down Command, you can select multiple effects. Command C will copy it. Now we'll go back here and command V to paste. Already it's looking very nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and add those two adjustment layers like we did with the shape layer part of this tutorial. And we're just gonna make one adjustment layer and probably make another one because we need two. And 
there we go. So now we go back into our adjustment layer, copy and paste, command C and command V. I can't even begin to tell you how helpful those keyboard shortcuts are. It'll make your workflow so much faster. And now we've applied our curves and now we're gonna go ahead and apply the glow as well. So copy and paste it just like before. And okay, so here we have it. We did the exact same effect to our text layer. And basically, that's all there is to it. All right, so to recap, all we did was take either a text layer or a shape layer and duplicate it and add tint and CC light sweep to create sort of the foundation for the metal. Then we added two adjustment layers so that we could make the metal a little bit more realistic. And we used curves and we also used the glow function and that was able to make the metal texture a little bit more realistic. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.